science and engineering today we will discuss about uh, one of the famous type of physical vapor deposition technique known as magnetron sputtering dear student please note that the magnetron sputtering is a type of physical vapor deposition technique so dear student as i have previously discussed in my previous lectures about physical vapor deposition techniques so what do you think what the term physical vapor deposition technique mean physical vapor deposition technique is a process of physical evaporation of condensed precursor or target material into a vapor phase and then the deposition of that vapor phase material onto the surface of the substrate and then converted it into a solid thin or condensed thin film so dear student please note that in physical vapor deposition process there is no chemical reaction involved inside the chamber of the inside the chamber of the physical vapor deposition reactor and similarly the the material or the the target material which basically we evaporate in physical vapor deposition do not chemically react with the surface of the substrate and basically it just stick and just deposit it on the surface of the substrate so this means that physical vapor deposition process do not involve any type of chemical reaction inside the reaction chamber and also on to the surface of the substrate basically they just solidify and convert into a thin film on to the surface of the substrate so dear student please note that magnetron sputtering is a type of physical vapor deposition technique please note that basically sputtering is a class of physical vapor deposition technique and further subclass of the sputtering technique is known as magnetron sputtering just read what do you think what the term sputtering mean basically the sputtering is a physical removal of the source material which we want to deposit so that source material is physically removed by highly energetic ions and then they are transported on to the surface of the substrate and where they are deposited as a solid material or solid thin film okay so now let's define the magnetron sputtering process sputtering is defined as magnetron sputtering is a physical vapor deposition process which involves a gaseous gaseous plasma which is generated and confined in the presence of magnetic field to a space containing the material to be deposited which is known as a target or source material and this target or source material due to a gaseous plasma is physically removed and deposited on to the surface of the substrate in the presence of magnetic field so dear student if i explain the magnetron sputtering in a simple word magnetron sputtering is basically a type of physical vapor deposition process so in this physical vapor deposition process magnetic field are basically is placed near the surface of the target or the source material which we want to sputter which we want to remove so when the plasma which is present inside the chamber of the magnetron sputtering instrument is targeted on to the surface of the target or the source material which we want to knock 
this target or source material due to plasma is basically is removed from the surface of the target material and in the presence of magnetic field and this target or sputtered material is transported onto the surface of a substrate as a required desired thin film okay so what do you think student what is the role of the magnetic field which is present near the target student please note that the magnetic field play very important role in magnetron sputtering basically when the ionized gas or plasma incident onto the surface of the target material there is a possibility of the loss of energy so magnetic field basically uh, has a magnetic strength okay it has a magnetic poles Okay, dipole it's north pole and south pole and these dipoles basically interact with the charged ions which are present in the plasma so these ions are basically co are confined they, they remain near the target material due to magnetic field strength and they interact more with the surface of the target or the source material so in this way when the ions which are basically present in the plasma are present near the surface of the target or source material which we want to sputter this basically cause increase in the sputtering rate or increase in the removal of the target or the soft or source material so the magnetic field in the magnetron sputter sputtering basically increase the sputtering rate or the removal rate of the target material and in this way maximum amount of the target material is removed and deposited on the surface of the substrate so what is written magnetron sputtering is a coating process which basically is lay or under the category of physical vapor deposition technique so in this process we can basically deposit metal alloys and different kind of various compounds which are basically integral part of the different types of industries such as the textile industry etc okay another interesting fact to notice here is that dear student we can basically deposit a thin film in the range of 5 micrometer so like we can uh, deposit a higher thickness rate of the thin films with magnetron sputtering techniques okay so this is just an overview of the magnetron uh, sputtering process let's discuss about what are the processing steps involved in the magnetron a uh, sputtering device okay so what are the key steps which basically we need to follow in the magnetron a uh, sputtering process this student please note that this lecture is quite broad and be uh, patient to listen this lecture because i will cover every aspect of the magnetron a uh, sputtering a uh, technique in this lecture So let's discuss about the processing steps that what are the steps involved in magnetron sputtering process. Steps involved in magnetron sputtering instrument. So what are the processing steps which are followed in magnetron sputtering instrument in order to deposit a thin film using magnetron sputtering setup so initially the student magnetron sputtering instrument is basically uh, has a reaction chamber and that reaction chamber of the magnetron sputtering instrument is evacuated so basically a pressure around 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 tar is basically achieved in magnetron sputtering instrument and this pressure uh, is some is known as the lower base pressure for the magnet magnetron sputtering reaction chamber so this 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 tar 
pressure or the pressure somewhere around in the range of 2 10 to the power minus 6 tar is achieved in the magneton sputtering reaction chamber okay this pressure is basically achieved by using a combination of different types of pump such as a rotary or turbo molecular pumps so in first processing step of the magnetron sputtering instrument the magnetron sputtering instrument reaction chamber is evacuated in the range of 10 raised to power minus 6 and tar by using the combination of different types of pumps such as turbo or rotary pumps okay so when the reaction chamber is evacuated after the evacuation of the reaction chamber inert gas is basically incorporated inside the reaction chamber so this thing please note that this inert gas is very important so this inert gas basically play a vital role in order to remove the substrate material uh, in order to remove the target material okay so basically this inert gas is inside the reaction chamber which is evacuated is basically this inert gas is ionized and then it is targeted onto the uh, surface of the target material and which basically cause the removal of the target material and then it is deposited onto the surface of the substrate so dear student please note that in first step the reaction chamber of the magnetron sputtering, sputtering device is evacuated and when the reaction chamber of the uh, sputtering device magnetron sputtering device is completely evacuated after that inert ionization gas is incorporated inside the reaction chamber of the magnetron sputtering instrument okay so after the incorporation of the ioni inert ionization gas inside the reaction chamber the inert ionization gas is basically ionized upon the application of high potential. So basically, when the inert gas is incorporated, high potential is applied. It could be a direct current potential in the range of hundreds of thousands of electron volt is basically applied onto the inert case and when the, this high potential in or uh, in as a direct current uh, potential field is applied on the inert gas this inert gas just get ionized upon the application of the high potential so basically this student please note that in um, magnetron sputtering direct current uh, sput magnetron sputtering is most common okay so basically a planar type of setup which is based on cathode and anode are used with cathode and anode are basically used as a voltage source material which basically are are connected with the higher direct potential and they basically they incorporate the higher voltage inside the um, uh, reaction chamber of the magnetron spectrum effecting instrument and this high volt basically result into the ionization of the uh, inert gas okay so when the high potential is applied via direct current the high potential result into the ionization of the inert gas so the energy of the ionized inert gas is too much okay so when the gas inside the reaction chamber get ionized this ionized gas basically will in high uh, in this high vacuum basically will go will proceed toward the cathode target okay so basically cathode target is a, an area or a place 
where we have placed a material which we want to basically sputter okay which we want to remove okay so these bombarded ionized gas which have very high energy due to applied uh, potential okay they will travel toward the cathode target on which we have placed the material which we want to deposit okay so these highly bombarded inert gas which is converted into ion will interact with the cathode where the uh, target or the substrate material is placed okay so in next step dear student with the target or the source material okay so this ionized gas is basically when it is interacted with the target or source material this ionized gas is not confined it is not basically encaptured near the surface of the cathode where the source material is placed so due to this in next step magnetic field is applied near the cathode where the source material is placed this student what do you think why the magnetic field is applied in next step in magneton sputtering device please note that magnetic field has a magnetic poles and it has a magnetic field of lines basically which travel from north to south pole or they basically travel from one pole to another pole and these magnetic field of lines interact with the ionized species with the ionized gas which are basically falling which are basically colliding onto the surface of the substrate so this magnetic field basically will encapture or will arrest in a simple word the magnetic the field will arrest ions which are basically bombarding onto the surface of the substrate so this magnetic field will cause maximum number of ion to bombard on the surface of the substrate material so in this way huge amount of the material from the surface of the target or cathode will be removed so maximum amount of the sputtering will be easily possible with the magneton sputtering so due to this in this magneton sputtering technique the mag magnetic field is used okay in next step when the magnetic field is applied in the magneton sputtering instrument this will basically result into a continuous bombardment and focus of the ion on to the target and the source material so this magnetic field basically focus or confine the maximum amount of the ion which are present inside the reaction chamber on to the surface of the target or source material so there will be a possibility of the maximum number of physical removal or sputtering of the target or source material from the cathode okay so basically we with magnetic field we get maximum number of the sputtered material okay so when the maximum number of the sputtered material is achieved then the atoms or ions or molecules are basically ejected with a higher energy and then they are basically transferred and diffused diffused through a vacuum chamber to the surface of the substrate and in this way we get condensed solid thin film okay so basically dear student please note that in a simple word the magnetic field which result into a confinement confinement of the maximum number of ion near the surface of the target or source material will result into removal of the atom 
from the target air or a source materials and these atoms or molecule are basically will travel from the uh, target material or from uh, or, or from the source material will travel and will go toward the surface of the substrate and in this way we get maximum amount of sputtered deposited thin film so basically with the magnetron sputtering we due to a magnetic field we get maximum amount of thickness which is not achievable by a simple sputtering technique like direct current sputtering or radio frequency sputtering so dear student please note that the magnetic field due to a magnetic field line interactions with the charged ion play vital role in order to remove the maximum amount of the sputtered material and then it is transported onto the surface of the septic and is deposited as a maximum thick amount of thin film so basically this technique which is known as magneton sputtering technique provide us an opportunity to increase the deposition rate of the thin film furthermore this technique basically give us uniformity to the deposited thin film Let's really let us discuss somehow the history of the magnetron sputtering. Let's really please note that the magnetron sputtering was basically a normal sputtering or was basically observed around 1850, okay? and it's a man curiosity around 1940 when a diode sputtering was firstly used as a commercial coating process so initially this magnetron sputtering basically it was invented or it's, it's, it was observed around 1850 however this process remained as a curiosity around up to 1940 and uh, where the diode type of the sputtering was basically firstly used as a commercial coating process for deposition of the thin film okay so so dear student please note that it was the magnetron sputtering was patented and discovered by john chapman uh, in 1974 Please please note that before that the direct current sputtering was more common. It was used for the uh, commonly was used to deposit different types of wide range of the deposited uh, sputtered thin films. But after 1974, when Chen Chapman basically patented this magnetron sputtering technique, this technique basically get more value as compared to direct current sputtering. Okay, so dear student, please note that the first magneton sputtering was patented by a Chapman, and it was basically a planar magneton sputtering technique. Basically, the planar magneton sputtering instrument has a planar cathode and anode where the sputtered material or source material is basically placed at the cathode. and the cathode was basically was surrounded by a magnetic poles or magnetic uh, magnets and those magnets basically play a vital role to confine the ions and which are basically bombarded onto this onto the source materials okay so they were basically placed in the magnetic pole basically uh, and the cathode and anode in the planar magneton sputtering instrument were placed in a planar fashion okay so please note that the need of this magneton sputtering uh, was due to the slow deposition rate of the direct uh, current sputtering instrument because direct current uh, sputtering device basically use a direct current to um, 
us to on to the surface uh, direct current to ionize the gas and that ionized gas with the direct current basically uh, have a higher energy basically they infect the surface of the source material and they, they just sputter the source material so they are the uh, direct with the direct current uh, planar sputtering instrument the ions which are basically bombarded on the surface of the substrate uh, on, on the surface of the surface material are not confined so the rate basically or the infraction of ion with the source material which we want to sputter is very less as compared to the magnetron sputtering instrument and in this way less amount of the uh, sputtering material is basically removed by the direct current sputtering instrument so due to this the magnetron sputtering is used this student please note chapman was a founder of the planar direct current magnetron sputtering instrument dear student apart from the uh, planar uh, sputtering uh, magnetron instrument there are also different types of other types of magnetron uh, sputtering instrument which are known as rotatable magnetron uh, sputtering instrument so in the rotatable magnetron sputtering instrument the rotatable magnets are basically used near the uh, source or the target materials okay the rotatable uh, uh, sputtering magnetron instrument were basically invented somewhere around 1900 1921 okay however they were patented somewhere around 1962 okay so they basically uh, came into the limelight the rotatable magnetron sputtering instrument came into limelight somewhere around 19 uh, 80 and 19, they were patented 1962 however they came into London somewhere around 19 between 1980 to 1992 this one just to refresh your mind um, uh, in order to understand the magneton uh, sputtering very easily i have just presented a schematic diagram of simple sputtering instrument okay so this is just a mind refresher slide okay so basically in simple uh, sputtering device there is a sputtering chamber okay so this sputtering chamber is evacuated okay the pressure is somewhere around 10 to the power minus 6 tor okay so The, in the sputtering setup the initially the reaction chamber is evacuated and then the ionization gas or the inert gas is incorporated inside the reaction chamber of the sputtering device okay so this inert gas play vital role in sputtering so these inert gas ions or i have a, like they are quite messy okay and these ions are basically play a vital role in order to remove the source material okay so initially the vacuum uh, the chamber of the sputtering instrument is evacuated after the evacuation of the uh, uh, sputtering instrument the inert gas is incorporated inside the sputtering device okay now the reaction chamber of the sputtering uh, instrument consists of uh, anode and as well as cathode anode is positively charged whereas cathode is negatively charged okay dear student please note that the source material which we want to deposit is placed at cathode so this is basically a target material where is the substrate on which we want to deposit this sputter material is placed at usually at anode it could be reversible but in for simplicity we place it at anode okay so when the high potential is applied at cathode and as well as anode the potential is around 
thousands of kilo electron volt this potential across the cathode and anode will result into the ionization of the inert gas okay so this inert gas basically get ionized in schematic i have just presented that this inert gas is argon okay so when this argon is ionized the positively charged uh, argon have a huge mass okay so these positively charged ions of argons have a higher energy due to the potential which is applied across the cathode and anode so since the charge of the argon is positive okay whereas the charge on the cathode is negative so these ions from the um, uh, positive or argon will travel toward the surface of the target material which is basically cathode and this the the target material has a um, has a material which we want to deposit or which we want to sputter okay so these these positively charged ion will interact with the target or source material so when the heavily uh, massy and high energetic argon ion interact with the target or source material at cathode the interaction of highly energetic ion will result into removal of the source or target material uh, physically and this physical removal is basically is known as a sputtering okay so this the positively inert ion gas basically will result into physical removal of the target or source material molecules or atoms okay these source materials or molecules or atoms or ions will travel toward the surface of substrate which is placed at a node so these ions from the target or source material will interact onto the surface of the substrate or substrate material and they will get deposited onto the surface of the substrate material as a thin film and this substrate or material is basically placed at anode so in this way basically dear student we deposit thin film by sputtering process so this is just an overview schematic overview of sim simplest schematic overview of sputtering process okay so in next slide i will briefly explain about the magnetron sputtering so the what is basically different between this simplest sputtering process and magnetron sputtering process